Ja gut, ein andererseits bei Metaller. Wie ihr seht, sind wir immer noch in Holland. Da bin ich jetzt übrigens hingezogen wegen steuerlichen Gründen. Ich verdiene einfach zu viel und dieses Land ist ein Dorado für Steuerflüchtlinge wie mich. Was ich jetzt gleich tun werde, ist diese Wandelroute abschreiten, weil ich ja die erste Viertelstunde in dieser Sendung eigentlich nichts zu tun habe. Es wird heute um zwei Dinge gehen. Zum einen um Fear Factory, das neue Remix-Album Remanufacture ist draußen. Und um Creator, da ist auch eine neue Platte auf dem Weg. Und äh, ich würde sagen, ich gebe direkt ab an Fear Factory, die euch jetzt eigenständigst unterhalten. One of the reasons why it took so long for Remanufacture to come out is because Fear Factory had been on tour for so long. You know, we did Europe, we did Australia a couple times. Um, you know, we toured America, and uh, it took us a long time to like get a bunch of DJs to work with us. And Reese Fulber was busy with other projects. <laughs> There's a lot of different types of techno, but I mean, our foundation mostly with the techno, so a lot of these sense. Eric Sons, a lot of people, they build down. Like the same type of elements, like in our music, and the people are amazing. I just, I personally listen to it all the time, and some people sound crazy because of it, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> It's mostly for the structures. We listen to the structures a lot, and we like to use that in the way we write our music. There's a lot of underground techno that people don't hear. People when they hear the word techno, they think of that like, commercial techno. Stuff you hear in like supermarkets and stuff like that. I like some of that stuff too, but I'm really into the underground stuff where the stuff's more raw and the guys get more creative and they're more out there. right now um, we're, t we're taking our time on it we definitely want to get it right um, the direction we're moving in it's hard to say what direction we're moving in we're definitely moving forward we're definitely um, 
incorporating a lot of different ideas into the music right now. And uh, can't say it's going to be techno, can't say it's going to be um, um, dance or whatever, but uh, you know, it's just going to be a step forward. Just that, you know, we're a band that likes to move forward and not backwards. We're planning on going into the studio roughly October, um, so the record probably won't be out until spring of uh, 98. Um, no title. No, no, no song titles yet either. It's definitely going to be a conceptual album. Um, you know, usually the concept, you know, we try to make the music and the concept and the packaging, everything all go together. And when we do things like that, it kind of takes a lot of time. You know, like Bert was saying earlier, we want to make sure that we can this record to be as perfect as it possibly can. I don't want to put out a, you know, a piece of shit. When I go to like uh, raves or uh, like clubs, I can see people that are totally into the dance music wearing core shirts, Fear Factory shirts. I mean, the, the music is, it has both such a big level of energy that it fits really well. Like metal and dance and hard techno, it's, it's humping. So it, it fits really well together. I think that you know a lot of those kids have already been reached that way. I mean, like like Christian was saying, he goes to those you know underground rave parties where all the kids are wearing metal shirts, you know, going to raves and and vice versa. And I, you know, I, I've always felt that Fear Factor's been a part of all that. You know, I don't think I think journalists and media don't give uh, fans enough credit. I think they're a lot more open-minded than they think they are. 